Hi, I'm Joan Williams with Coastal Dressage. Today we're going to be doing a private riding lesson where we're working one-on-one -on -one with one student and we will work to improve the rider's weight, seat, and position and work to get the horse better on his aids as we are preparing to move up the levels. I hope you enjoy today's show. Hello, my name is Richard Newton. I'm a farmer's son originally from Liverpool, England. Grew up with horses and surprisingly in my mid-somethings I came back to horses but in a different aspect and that was um, doing horse massage, Reiki, Tellington Touch and all of the above. I have found since doing the massage on the horses and then coming and learning to re-ride in English dressage that my own body reflects the horses in some way. Um, if I'm stiff in my left like hind for the use of a better word, the horse is stiff in the left hind. And then when I relax and breathe, the horse does the correspondingly. Breathes correspondingly and we relax together. So let's go ahead and start today with some rider warm-up exercises. All right, go ahead and take your reins in one hand and with the other arm, let's make some arm circles. And if you keep the reins in a rein bridge as you ride with your right arm, now make your arm swing all the way around. Take it a little further back as you go. It's not quite making that full swing all the way around the back. Stretch your shoulder muscle and try to keep your seat in the saddle. Good, Richard. Take your lower legs back and underneath you. Keep your legs in the correct position. Keep your shoulders in the correct position. Keep your hips in the correct position. Good. And switch your reins. And hold with your left and arm circles with your right. And keep your seat following. Securely seated in the saddle, weight equal on both sit bones while you circle your arm up, around, and over. So your arm swing needs to go a little further back around. There we go. Super good. And your lower legs stay underneath you, and we really stretch that out. Excellent. Go ahead, reins in two hands. And now let's go ahead and drop our stirrups. And let's and keep our lower legs back and underneath us. So while we drop our stirrups, we're going to go as if we have pretend stirrups. So we'll go heels down, toes up, right toe up, lower legs back and underneath you. Good. And let's draw the alphabet with one of your toes. You can draw some letters, a cursive A and a cursive B. And this is a really good exercise to supple the ankles of the rider. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and begin this direction. And let's take our reins in our outside hand in a rein bridge and let's stretch our left arm straight up over our head and let the weight straight up though. Let your shoulder really relax. Now breathe into this as you go. Let your left arm straight up in the air. Straight up. It's, there we go. Now as you keep your left arm straight up, let feel the weight fall onto your left seat bone. Yeah, your left shoulder's got not quite as much freedom as your right shoulder. So you want to try to relax your shoulder joint. Keep your lower legs back and underneath you. Let the weight fall down through your back into the seat so that you sit a little deeper in the saddle. Lower legs more underneath you. Good. Switch arms. Same thing with your other arm. Right arm. You're going to have to make your circle go a little bit further Sorry. that direction. So your circle, if you can, steer between S and R and use your inside leg to bend and your outside leg to turn. Now stretch your right arm straight up and now let the weight sink down through your shoulder, that down through your shoulder, down through your shoulder blade, through your back, onto your seat bone. Very good, Richard. And now let's lean forward, keeping our seat in the saddle and pet the horse's neck. Go as far forward as you can, but still keeping your seat in the saddle. So you can bend a little at the waist, you can let the small of your back relax, good. And now you're going to want to go back and pet him on his, on his rump. Without leaning behind the vertical, take your hand back, pet him back there, pat, 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 keep your hips in the saddle, good. And go ahead and go down and touch your right knee, but keep yourself vertical. 
Yeah, good. And then same thing with your left arm. Rain bridge. And then our left arm. Stretching your shoulder. Well, we've done the up. Let's go ahead and pet him. To keep your back relaxed so that you, yeah, there we go. Now, as you do, as you pet him forward, try to keep your lower leg back and underneath you. As you keep, as you do the lower leg, yes. With the inward thigh rotation, you try to keep that consistent position good and then touch your left knee. Good. So these are some really good exercises to warm the rider up. Now let's go ahead and as you're walking on your circle, let's do some breathing exercises. So now make a really accurate 20 meter circle between S and R. And I think if you, you know what, let's go ahead next time around, let's take your circle to E and B. And then you've got some um, little more consistent and familiar parameters to make for your circle points. So we'll make a 20 meter circle that goes from E to two meters inside of L and letter B on the rail and two meters inside of letter I. And think about as you're going, maintaining a really consistent tempo. Yep, this looks good and keeping him centered and straight between your two reins. So this direction he likes to overbend. So we want to regulate the outside side of the body of the horse. So your outside rein and your outside leg can control the amount of bend so that like the banks of a river, we bend the river the direction we would like it to go by taking your outside elbow a little back, pulsating with your outside calf, keeping a little firmer outside sit bone and a little bit firmer outside knee and thigh to ask him not to bend quite so much. That's it. Quieter with your outside leg. It would be more effective if you hold it against him with a firm knee and thigh. That's better. That's better. That's it. All right. Good. All right. Let's change rein through your circle. And we'll do a little bit the other direction. So the first exercise we're going to ask for is that the horse stay round and soft and supple between our aids on the circle. So now this direction, circle right toward E. So your 20 meter circle is going to happen from E to 2 meters inside of I to B to 2 meters inside of L. Now this direction he doesn't want to bend as easily. So quiet your legs. We confirm that our inside leg stays forward, our outside leg stays back behind the girth. We supple them down with our outside ring finger. Yes, on our inside leg and our inside seat bone are a little stronger. We move them on to the outside rein. We flex and give with our inside wrist to get his inside eyelash. And our outside ring finger supples him downward, forward. Excellent, really good, and following. Nice. All right, straight ahead, whole arena. But when you get to H, you'll turn right, and at M, you'll turn right. But otherwise, you'll ride the rest of the whole arena. Now I'd like you to do some walk-trot transitions for me. So after you make it across this short end of the arena from H to M, when you get to R, you can pick up your trot, and you can go rising trot. Quieter hands, keep them supple. Keep your lower legs back and underneath you. Breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. Keeping it between your aids, staying centered, tone in your core. When you're ready, you push your seat bones forward, ask him to trot. Calves against him, knees a little open, good. Now posting trot. Now we wanna really center our weight on top of his back. Keep our lower legs back and underneath us. The post of our hips should match the thrust of his hindquarters. Yeah. Keep him soft and round and between your aids. Good. And now he needs more, he needs to cover ground and track up. That's it. We want him to cover a little more ground. That's it. Super. Good. Now cover more ground. Get him a little more forward. There you go. Good. Good. And when you're ready, sitting trot. 
Take your upper body a little back, vertical, and transition to walk. Good, Richard. And then at A, let's make a transition to trot. Bend in your corner, get them really supple in between your aids, lovely. Allow a little with your rein, follow a little, good. Yep, nice. Now keep him a little soft with your fingers. If you feel his mouth or his jaw braces a little bit and you want him to be soft, you can just move the bit gently, good, good. And when you're ready, sitting trot, breathe out your air, beautiful, nice. Good. And let's go ahead one more time up to your trot. Super. And turn at H. Use your outside leg for the turn. Now here, quieter with your outside leg. Just put your outside leg needs to be further back for the turning. That's it. And at B, let's make a 20 meter circle ride in trot. Keep your inside leg on the girth. Outside leg position behind the girth. Help them bend. This is the direction he needs more bend. Ride the accurate circles and help him cover more ground. Good. Upper body turned with a little spiral seat. Shoulders turned a little in the direction of travel. Inside leg stays forward. Outside leg's got to go further back. Outside left, left calf a little more secure against him. Good. Straight ahead. And let's go ahead and sitting again and back to walk. Good. Those are nice transitions. And when you're ready, up to trot. And we're going to change rein on the diagonal. So if you need to switch your whip, one of these corners would be a great place to switch it. All right, good. And then at A, you can trot. Now, so, now reorganize that, reorganize that. He's got to be with you straight ahead. Take your time, take your time. Yeah, it's better that you make super. Good. And then at E, turn right, and at B, turn left. It's better that you make a smooth transition than it's really immediate. You're already posting on the right shoulder. Now quiet the trot. Okay, that's all right. Switch your posting diagonal. I was going to have you turn left at B, but we'll change rein on that original diagonal that we were thinking of. So it's more important that we get the correct quality rather than quantity. Make them a little softer, a little rounder. Eyes up, looking KXM, you'll change rein on the diagonal. Actually go K to R, that'll allow you to turn a little sooner. Now keep him organized and regulate him with your reins. Good, when you get to R, you can switch your posting diagonal. Good, this is getting better. Soften his pole and jaw. Your left calf has gotta stay more secure against the left calf. Switch your posting diagonal. M, turn left. We don't want to go quite to the end of the arena. Quiet hands. Now your right stirrup slid a little bit too far on your foot. Try to tap that stirrup bar. Good with your posting diagonal. Good. And now cover more ground. Ask him to cover. Good. Good. And let's do a transition to walk. Sit. Take your upper body a little back. Brace your lower back. Tone in your core. Keep him supple and on your aids. Good. And at A, let's trot. Allow and following a little. We want to allow his nose to be vertical. Here he's quite behind the vertical. Allow a little. Okay, that was pretty abrupt transition. Let's go ahead and do that again. Stay organized. Allow his nose to be slightly in front of the vertical. That's it. Allow his nose a little. Allow his nose a little. There we go. Allow it a little out. That's it. Super. Soft hands. Nicely giving. Now, as you come into A, we don't want to just put our leg on and catch him by surprise. So you can soften his pole and jaw a little to let him know it's coming. And you should push your seat bones forward, knees open, calves on for a smooth, regulated transition to trot. It was a little better. Bounce twice. That was a really great job demonstrating the rider exercises and the warm-up exercises for the horse. Uh, thoughts on those exercises? Well, your comment about my left arm not being able to go to its fullest length, um, I always look as a body worker, whether it's on me or on a you know, four-legged being per se, I look at the diagonals also. And my right foot, I was born with a club foot which had surgery and I have spent my life helping the foot recover and get more mobility and of course then the left shoulder is its opposite number so that is something I can do off the horse and I'm more aware of when I'm 
doing my own warm-ups. Yes, and then also, how about the exercises, because it's just as important that we work on ourselves as we do proper warm-up exercises and noticing small detail in the exercises for the horse as well. So what did you notice as you did these exercises warming the horse up and getting them really between your aids? I noticed how he sort of extended more and was more relaxed as I relaxed and as, and as obviously my muscles warmed up. There yeah, was a, I would a more, agree. A, you know, more of a sense of collaboration. Yeah, I think as you began to prepare and let him know what was coming before you actually got it, the transitions began to get quite smooth. And that's always our goal is imperceptible to the naked eye. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and do a little bit more. I'd like to do some canter work now. And go ahead and put him on a circle. Just start out at the walk, get him reorganized, and then we will go on up to our trot and then to our canter. All right, go ahead and up to your sitting trot. And you're going to make your circle down probably between B and E. Okay. So that transition wasn't as smooth. So just reorganize and try that again. Get him a little between your right leg and your left leg, straight ahead. Supple him, warn him that the transition's coming. Get him extra soft in the bridle. All right, on your circle now. Get him a little more forward, a little rounder. Now, this is the direction he doesn't want to bend as well, so you want to make sure that right leg stays forward, that left leg stays back, and you get a lateral bend in his rib cage to the right. Organize him, softer, rounder, left leg back, quiet with your left leg back. Try to be like a speed skater with that outside leg, good, and sitting trot. And when you're ready on your circle, up to your canter. Good. And now soften his pole and jaw, soften your wrists, soften your arms and to rotate your upper body a little in the direction of travel. Stay on the circle, a little more relaxed in your back, and breathing in through your nose and out through your mouth. There's lovely. And now let's decrease the size of the circle by spiraling in. So you'll be one meter off the rail at the circle point at B, right the counter, outside leg back, two meters in from your circle point at L, three meters in from your circle point at E, good, and now we gradually spiral back out. Keep your outside leg passively behind the girth. It's got to stay back there to guard the quarters. Your inside leg, inside heel down if you can. Inside stirrup on the ball of your foot. Come, ride the canter, keep the tempo. And one more time, let's spiral in and out on the circle. We need our outside shoulder a little in advance. We need our outside hand slightly in advance of our inside hand. Good, good, Richard. Good, let your back stay relaxed, following the horse. Yeah, super, and spiral back out. Inside leg, enlarge the size of your circle. Good, straight ahead, whole arena. Take a little better feel of your outside rein. Use your inside leg to tell them you're going straight ahead. Use your outside leg and straighten. Good, and a corner. And another 20 meter circle at A now. And on our 20 meter circle, once he's, he's got to have a little more lateral bend in his rib cage this direction. Good. And on your circle, prepare to trot and transition to trot. Now posting, but reorganize the trot back to that same working trot that you had before. Good. Change rein on your short diagonal, K to B. Now quieter in your body, relax and breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth, relax your wrists soft arms, let your weight sink down onto him, good. 20 meter circle left at B, and switch your posting diagonal at B. Good, and now breathing again, in through your nose, out through your mouth, keeping everything relaxed, good. Accurate 20 meter circle, and sitting trot. So you're gonna telegraph to him the counter to part. Good job, that was a nice transition. Good, now again, relaxed in your back, Lower back relaxed, tone in your core. Shoulders turning in the direction of travel slightly. Your outside leg back is better this direction. And let's spiral in. So we're two meters inside of L. We're gonna go uh, one meter inside of B. 
three meters in from the next circle point. Yep, good. And spiral out. Now this is his overbent side. So as you spiral out, think about tickling a little on that outside ring finger, connecting a little bit in your right shoulder blade. T canter, canter. Come. Ride your canter. Good. Lower legs, help him stay jumping through in the canter. That was a good correction. Keep a little better feel in your right shoulder blade as you spiral out. Inside leg, outside shoulder blade. Good, good, good. And let's go ahead one more time, spiral in and out. Gradually decrease the size of your circle. Take a little more flexion in your inside wrist, outside calf. Gently steers him in. Good, Richard. And now let's spiral out. Inside leg takes over, outside shoulder blade and elbow take over, and we gradually spiral out. All the way out. Good. On the ne next two circle points, you should be all the way out to two meters inside of I, all the way out to letter E, and straight ahead. Good. And when you're ready, 20 meter circle at A. And on our 20 meter circle, if he's balanced and he's round and he's between our aids, we will breathe out our air and transition to trot. And this time, think about bringing him back to a working trot. I don't want him to trot in a lengthened trot. So you organize him. All right, that's a little better than the other way. And switch your posting diagonal. Good, now on your circle, try to relax your body, knees down. Breathing in again through your nose, out through your mouth. Let the weight sink down through your heel. Soften his pole and jaw. Get him to relax again. Yeah, super. Good. And when you're ready, you can sit and make a nice transition to walk. Good. And loose reins and give him a little break. So what I'd like to work on now is 20 meter circle at B, between B and E. And let's go ahead and work on two point. So go into your, make a smooth transition to your rising trot, and then on your circle, come up to two point. And work on really letting your ankles relax, shorten your reins a little bit so that your hands can go further up his neck, and absorb the, sh absorb the shock of the trot with your hips. So let your knees bend and give, let your hips bend and give. Your weight is a little more over on your right stirrup than on your left stirrup. So try to put a little weight, step a little over on that left stirrup so that the, that's it, so that the weight is centered. Good, knees, stay hovering over the saddle, hover over the saddle. Let your knees absorb the chalk, let your hips absorb the shock, let your ankles drop down, 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 down. You can rest your hands on the middle of his neck if you like. Halfway up his neck, you can rest your knuckles there to help yourself balance. Drop those heels down, 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 down. Now breathing in, slow down. Half halt. Breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth. Let your ankles relax. Let your heels drop down. Let your knees absorb the shock. Relax your lower back. Good. And when you're ready, you can go ahead and breathe and come to walk. Take a little breather. Go ahead and sit up and walk. And then let's go ahead and change through our circle. And we'll do a little bit the other direction. So as we are doing this exercise, um, go ahead and change at the walk through your circle and let his nose a little out. You want to let him a little out, but keep your posture. Just let the rein a little longer. We want to try to keep our back supple, our hips supple, all of the joints. All of our joints need to bend and give like joints as we do this two-point exercise. All right, go ahead when you're ready. Shorten your reins on our circle and let's make a nice transition to posting trot, but get them round and soft before you go. Inside leg a little further back. Your left foot is sliding a little too far forward. Good. And posting trot. Good. And now go ahead and shorten your reins. And so that you can take your hands further, you can rest on your knuckles in the middle of his mane if you need to. Now drop your heels down. Hover a little over the saddle. And I've shortened your stirrups several holes so that to make this easier. Relax your back, relax your hips, but let your weight come down through your heel. Support yourself on the bars. Your, your saddle slipping a little to the right. Try to keep it really centered. Balance your weight. That's getting better. Balance your weight over, exactly over the center of your horse. Good. Now your lower calf can come around him like a plie. And let those heels drop down. 
Let your leg plie around the horse. This is very good, Richard. And when you're ready, go back to your posting trot. Take your upper body vertical again. But try to keep that plie feeling and the bend in your calf as you bring your upper body vertical. Bounce twice. Other posting diagonal. Not one more time. Sit twice. There you go. Now breathing again. Keep him relaxed, but keep that little plie feeling in your leg. Keep your balance exactly over both stirrup bars. Yeah, this is very good. Help him cover a little bit more ground, and this is his overbent direction. So we want to think about our right shoulder blade and elbow, keeping him secure. The outside banks of the river. Good, good. And when you're ready, go ahead and breathe and sit and come to walk. All right, give him loose reins and a nice pat and come on in. We'll go ahead and talk a little more, but I think this is all we'll do for today. That was super job. How was that for you, Richard? It was wonderful. I really felt the lower ankles sort of going, oh, you mean I've got to move? We've got to move now? And I really felt the lower calf actually, you know, really feel the push down of the heel being lower than the, the toes. So I also saw that your hip angles relaxed more, but the biggest component for me was when you plied around him, your lower leg was more secure. It was a super good job today. Well, thank you. Thank you.